Well, a unique feature of our program is that in only one year time you get to build and carry out your very own ethnographic research project on a topic that you truly feel passionate about. So this can be either uh, kinship relations in a small village anywhere in Europe facing the pressures of globalization or uh, for instance hip-hop and uh, the graffiti scene in urban conflict zones. This all is possible because the first four month period of uh, our program is fully geared towards creating a solid individual research plan based on systematic, theoretical, as well as methodological uh, training. And this thoroughly prepares you for the three-month uh, fieldwork period in which you go out into the field and carry out your ethnographic research and do what we call participant observation. And uh, yeah, that is the key method uh, in anthropological research where you truly immerse yourself in uh, the chosen setting. In particular, what makes uh, anthropology so valuable and also relevant, I think, in today's world, especially given the harshening socio-political conditions that we see in societies today, is uh, that anthropology is about cultural intimacy. And this, I think, offers a real antidote, necessary antidote to uh, the problems of today's world. I had been working in London in a research organisation and I really wanted to um, study social sciences because my first degree had been in English literature. So it's quite a big jump but um, this programme really welcomed me in. I was very much attracted by the fact that it has three whole months of field work in the middle which is quite unusual for an anthropology master's that only takes a year. So um, I was very lucky to have three months which I spent in Paris studying the urban commons. I really like the teachers on this program and um, the whole department, even people who aren't directly teaching you um, are always around and interested to talk to you with a coffee. If you knock on their door, they're very approachable and friendly and there's an incredibly interesting mix of different interests represented in the department. My advice would be to have a think about what you'd like to do your thesis on early on, um, maybe even before applying, have some ideas in your head about what direction you want to take it in, because a year is not that long, so suddenly you have to decide where you want to spend your three months and what topic you want to go down, and those avenues can seem completely endless, which is an exciting process, but also one that it's nice to get a head start on if you can. Many of our graduates, they do end up in uh, the more traditional fields where anthropologists work. That includes international academia, non-governmental organizations, uh, uh, policy-making institutions, journalism, documentary making, working in museums, etc. But what we see more and more today is that they also find work as in-house anthropologists in all kinds of non-traditional sectors, including uh, big corporations, local enterprises, uh, all kinds of consultancies uh, and think tanks. My tip for prospective uh, students is dare to dream. Anthropology is the one social science where uh, there's still plenty of room for imagination while we remain firmly rooted in, uh, in uh, real life conditions. So uh, do consider what you really want to research and then we will make it doable and feasible together. <laughs>